Come on, baby dragon, fire up this balloon and let's go attack the tower at full speed. Hello, guys, welcome back to Cosmos Gaming. Let's open this magical chest. I'm hoping for some epic balloons. Bats, big barbs, rocket, mortar, furnace, and goblin barrels. So, nothing that I can use here. Today, I'm going to show you an easy way to speed up your balloon up to 50%. You need to have almost full elixir. Then, you're going to place your baby dragon on the bottom right corner. We wait for the baby dragon to reach near the river. Then, you will have to place your balloon in front of it. But be careful, the balloon needs to be moving. If you see the small timer underneath the balloon, it needs to be at least 75% complete in order for this to work. If the balloon is moving, the baby dragon is going to push it towards the tower faster. Basically, it gets the baby dragon speed, which is faster than that of balloons. That may trick the opponent to underestimate the situation and you might get an easy crown tower. Moving forward this game, then I can show you the same thing on the left side. When we have almost full elixir, we place the baby dragon on the bottom left corner. We wait till the baby dragon reaches close to the bridge and we're going to place the balloon just in front of it. But it needs to be moving when the baby dragon reaches the balloon. The baby dragon pushes the balloon very fast towards the crown tower and then with the help of the bridge, we're going to do significant damage to this side also. Using this trick in both sides of the arena, in this game I was able to get both the crown towers and as you see when I speed up this game that I get a win. <laughs> Starting a new game, I want to show you how you can use this trick in other situations other than the simple one that I'm going to start here placing the baby dragon to the bottom right corner and placing the balloon to the top right corner when the baby dragon is near. So this is the standard setting which can be reproduced at, in every game and most of the time has very good results. Of course, with the use of a freeze in order to avoid these troops destroying the balloon. And this crown tower is done. Now, going to the left side, this baby dragon it's not in the correct position so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the balloon sooner the balloon will have a path towards the crown tower and that path involves going a little bit to the right where it is going to intercept with the baby dragon's path when that happens the baby dragon is going to push the balloon faster towards the crown tower and we will be able to get it sooner Making the balloon go faster increases our chances to land an attack or even land additional attacks which can be devastating for the enemy ground towers. In this game, using this trick in both sides of the arena, I was able to land a 3 crown win. Now I'm going to show you how you can use this trick combined with avoiding enemy buildings and even avoiding rockets, which is awesome. Here I'm, I am doing the trick that I was showing you in the last video. The balloon is going to go a little bit to the left and is going to avoid getting pulled by this inferno tower, reaching to the crown tower and inflicting a lot of damage. Please check my last video for more details on this trick. I'm going to provide a link at the end of this video. Moving this game forward, I want to show you something else. Now in the right side, I have almost full elixir. I place the baby dragon and I'm going to place the balloon in front of it. The balloon is going to go faster, it's going to avoid the already placed inferno tower and the opponent is going to misjudge the speed and miss the rocket, allowing my balloon to inflict maximum damage to the enemy ground tower. For this trick, all you need is a clear path to the tower. Any troops on the way are going to distract the baby dragon, making it stop pushing the balloon. So on the left side here, you can see that these skeletons are on the way, so I'm choosing to go on the right side. Placing the baby dragon, 
placing the balloon in front of it, the balloon goes super fast towards the enemy crown tower and eventually destroying it. <coughs> Taking the battle to the left side, I'm going to show you what happens when there are troops on the way. I'm placing the baby dragon to the bottom left corner then the balloon to the top left corner. You see that the baby dragon goes and attacks the skeletons, making it not able to push the balloon towards the enemy ground tower, making it very vulnerable against enemy troops and eventually gets destroyed before reaching the enemy ground tower. In this game, I was able to get a one crown win using this trick on the right side of the arena. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more Class Royale videos, click the thumbs up button if you liked this video and check out my previous video where I showed a trick to avoid your balloon getting pulled by enemy buildings. Stay tuned for more tricks and tips using your baby dragon and the balloon.